So in 1942, the world's first electronic digital computer, ENIAC, was developed as part of a secret American World War II project to improve artillery accuracy. The US Army recruited human computers to calculate complex mathematical equations. Six women, Betty Snyder, Kathleen McNulty, Jean Jennings Bartik, Ruth Lichterman, France Vilas, and Marilyn Westkopf proved so mathematically gifted that they were selected to operate ENIAC. This 8-foot tall, 80-foot wide, 60,000 pound machine was programmed by these six women by hand before computer programming languages even existed. I mean, imagine sitting down to do 40 hours of calculations before you could even start programming. At its first demonstration, ENIAC added 5,000 numbers in just one second. Ironically, these women weren't even invited to the demonstration despite being the ones to program it. What's more is that their role in programming ENIAC wasn't made public until the 1980s. And how it came to light is seriously outrageous. Kathy Clayman, a young computer programmer, found their photo in the Computer History Museum's archive in California. When she asked the museum curators who these women were, she was told they were, quote, just models hired to make the machine look better. Thankfully, Clayman didn't believe that, so she investigated further and traced down all six women to share their story with the world under the ENIAC Programmer Project. In 1997, all six women, now known as the ENIAC Six, were inducted into the Women in Technology International Hall of Fame. Their story reminds us that innovation often comes from those who have been pushed to the margins and those who must work twice as hard to be recognized half as much.